Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In the last video, we have discussed about electrostatic equilibrium. We have taken two like charges and we found out where the position of the third charge must be such that the system will be in equilibrium. In today's video, we will discuss about how much amount of charge must be kept at that point such that the system will go into equilibrium. To find the position of the third charge, we found out the net force acting on the charge plus small q and equated that to zero. To find the magnitude of the third charge, we have to choose either of the two charges plus q1 or plus q2 and we have to find the net force acting on that charge and equate that to zero. In this example, I am choosing plus q2 and finding out the net force acting on q2. So there will be force F1 bar that is acting on q2 which is a force due to q1 and it is repulsive that is why it is directed towards the right side. F2 bar will be the force acting on Q2 due to small q and it will, it will also be directed towards the right side. For a system to be in equilibrium, the net force acting on each charge must be equal to zero. We have already found out the net force that is acting on Q2 which is equal to F1 bar plus F2 bar. We have to now equate that to zero. So we will get F1 bar plus F2 bar equal to zero or F1 bar equal to minus F2 bar. We have already found out the value of x in the last video. Now according to Coulomb's law, we can write the formula as q1 q2 divided by 4 pi epsilon naught d square equals minus q2 q divided by 4 pi epsilon naught d minus x the whole square. Now we can cancel out q2 by 4 pi epsilon naught on both the sides that is on LHS and RHS. So we will get q1 divided by d square equal to minus q divided by d minus x the whole square. Now we can rearrange the terms and we can arrive at our formula q equals minus q1 into 1 minus x by d the whole square. Now we have already found out the value of x. We can take it and substitute in this equation. So we will get q equal to minus q1 into 1 minus d under root q1 divided by d into under root q1 plus q2 whole square. After cancellation, we will arrive at our formula which is q equals minus q1 q2 divided by under root q1 plus under root q2 whole square. So this will be the amount of charge that must be kept in between two like charges such that the system will be in equilibrium.